This is part 46 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to install Entity Framework Core both in a single layer ASP.NET Core web application and in a multi layer web application. Depending on how you have your ASP.NET Core project set up, you may have Entity Framework Core already installed. Let me explain what I mean. Depending on the scope and complexity of the project, you may have a single layer web application or a multi-layer web application. If the project that you're working on is a small project or you're doing some proof of concept, so all the layers of your web application, that is the presentation layer, business logic layer, and data access layer are in one single project. If we take a look at the project that we've been working with so far in this video series, we did not create separate layers for presentation, business logic, and data access. All the layers are present in this one single project. If you recollect, we have created this project using ASP.NET Core version 2.2, specifically using the empty project template. If we take a look at the dependencies node within the Solution Explorer and then expand the NuGet node, notice we have a package microsoft.aspnetcore.app is installed. This package is called Meta Package. A Meta Package has no content of its own. Instead, it's a list of dependencies, that is, a list of other packages. Notice when I expand this meta package, we see a long list of other NuGet packages. As we scroll down this long list, notice we find all the required Entity Framework Core NuGet packages already installed via this meta package. So the point that I'm trying to make is an ASP.NET Core web application project that is created using ASP.NET Core version 2.1 or later will have Entity Framework Core already installed as part of the meta package. What if we have a multi-layer web application project with separate layers for presentation, business, and data access? These layers are implemented as separate projects Entity Framework Core is usually required in the Data Access Layer project. The Data Access Layer project is a class library project and does not usually have the meta package referenced. So this means Entity Framework Core is not installed for the Data Access Layer project within our multi-layer web application. Let's look at this in action. Let's add a new project to our solution. So right click on the solution, add new project. We want to add a class library project and let's name this project employee management dot data access. There we go. We have our data access project created and if we expand the dependencies node, notice we don't have a node for the NuGet packages. That means we don't have the meta package installed and this also means we do not have the entity framework core installed by default for this data access project. To install entity framework core and use SQL Server as the database for our application, we need to install these NuGet packages. The first package, Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQLServer contains the functionality that is specific to Microsoft SQL Server. And this package has a dependency on the second package that is Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.Relational. As the name implies, this package contains the functionality that is common to all the relational databases, that is databases like SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, etc. All these are relational databases. So the functionality that is common to these relational databases is in this relational NuGet package. And this package in turn has a dependency on Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore NuGet package. This package contains Entity Framework Core core functionality that is common to all databases. Now, if we install this SQL Server package first, because it has a dependency on the relational package, and this relational package in turn has a dependency on the Entity Framework Core package, these dependent packages are automatically installed along with the SQL Server package. We don't have to separately install them. However, if we install the Entity Framework Core package first, then we have to explicitly install the relational package and the SQL Server package. We want to install Entity Framework Core in this data access project. So right click on the project and then select Manage NuGet Packages. Make sure you are on the Browse tab and we want to install Entity Framework Core and not the classic Entity Framework. This is the classic Entity Framework. Notice the version number here, it's version 6.2.0. We want to install Entity Framework Core. So search for Entity Framework Core. 
Here is the Entity Framework Core package. But if we install this package first, then we have to explicitly install the relational and SQL Server packages. But if we install the SQL Server package first, the dependent packages will be automatically installed. So let's search for Entity Framework Core dot SQL Server. We have the SQL Server package right here. When I select this and scroll all the way down, we can see that this package has a dependency on the relational package right here. Now, if we search for the relational package, it will have a dependency on Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore package. Now, to install the SQL Server package, click the Install button. Accept the license agreement. There we go. All the required packages are installed. Notice we have the SQL Server package installed. It has a dependency on the relational package which is also installed. And if we expand that, it has a dependency on the core package and that is also installed along with its dependencies. We want to use Microsoft SQL Server as the database. So we installed Entity Framework Core dot SQL Server package. What if we want to use other databases like Oracle, MySQL, PostgreSQL, etc. For example, if we want to use MySQL as the database, then search for Entity Framework Core dot MySQL. There are several MySQL packages available. Which package should I install? Well, one easy way to find that out is by visiting this MSDN database providers page. I'll have this link available in the description of this video as well as on my blog. Now, for using SQL Server, this is the package that we have to use. Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL Server. For MySQL, this is the package that we have to use. Notice when I select this NuGet package, MySQL provider for Entity Framework Core and scroll all the way down. Just like SQL Server, MySQL also has a dependency on the relational package because MySQL is also a relational database and this relational package has a dependency on Entity Framework Core. So when we install this MySQL NuGet package, all the dependent packages are also automatically installed. To keep things simple, we are going to have all our data access code also in our web application project. We don't need this data access project. I only included it for demonstration. So let's delete this project. We also need to delete the project from the file system. So right click on the solution, open folder in File Explorer. Here is our data access project folder. Let's delete that from here as well. At the moment, our application is still working with in-memory data that we have in this mock employee repository. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss storing and retrieving data from SQL Server using Entity Framework Core. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.